good wine is someone's passion. If you focus on the unusual and the odd, you're bound to have tastes that are really special and taste passion. I'm John Bridge. And I'm Dottie Gator. We've been traveling a lot this summer. Too a much. lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. But the good thing about traveling is that we get to taste wines that we don't find at home. You know, if, if wherever your travels take you, you try something unusual, you're going to have fun. You're going to have a great time. And that's what happens to us. We were in Monterey County recently, and we had this bottle of Semillon. We had never seen this particular one. It was um, Saxon, Saxon Brown. Brown. Whose Zinfandel we've liked in the past. It, it was the kind of wine that you simply couldn't taste uh, make in bulk and right. have it taste like that. Now, similarly, uh, we were at a little store and we found this, True to Bond, Pinot Blanc. Now, Pinot Blanc can often be kind of like a bulk wine. It just kind of tastes like bulk. It just kind of tastes like white. You know, right. it's not, not a lot to it. But we tasted this, and this has richness. It has melon. It just has, has real stuff going on. We loved this wine. So we wondered, like, what is it? Where did it come from? We called up. Turns out that the winemaker at Zaka Mesa and his wife own this winery. They make a small amount of wine. Why do they make Pinot Blanc? Well, because they love Pinot Blanc. Talk to the winemaker and he'll tell you the first couple of great Pinot Blancs he ever had. It's really an amazing thing. He makes this wine because he loves Pinot Blanc and it shows. We also had a Grenache while we were out there. Um, we were in this tasting room and they didn't have the Grenache open to taste. So we said, well, what else do you have? And they had a rosé from the Grenache. So we tasted that and it knocked our socks off. So we bought a bottle of the Grenache, and it was amazing, just amazing. Some of them can be limp and kind of weak. This had intensity. Yes, uh, it, was, it was called Marilyn Remark. And when we were in Monterey County, we also found um, a winery called Chateau Julien, this beautiful place. And we tasted this Merlot that was amazing. Now, if, if you, you're familiar with us, you know way before Sideways we weren't fond of Merlot. Even the French-based, you know, Merlot wines, we, we if not liked. This one was intense and ripe, but not over the top. It had a finesse about it and a purity. It, it tasted like grapes. These wines are made with passion. They're made very, very individually. And when you drink one, you're drinking somebody's art. and Man, oh man, it's really fun to be able to drink someone's art. So go out, find something unusual. Don't look for these particular wines. The whole point is that these particular wines are hard to find, but there are so many small production, passionate wines out there. Have one and share the winemaker's passion. Remember, you can contact us at wine at wsj.com. Happy travels. Cheers. Cheers.